My brother is a professor of mechanical engineering at Cal Poly, and he teaches a class called statics. This is a semester class that engineering students have to take, and we're going to do it in a few minutes. The idea behind statics, of course, you could make really complicated problems in statics for engineers, but for physicists, we need to understand the two things about stuff that's not moving. I'm going to set up a simple problem where there's um, a board and there's a cat standing on the board over here, and the cat has a head and all that, not, oh, a tail too, right? <clears throat> and so if everything is in equilibrium, then you know two very strong statements. You know that the net force is zero, and this is the net force as a vector, so this is the net force in x and the net force in y, and heck, the net force in z. You also know, since the board is not rotating about any axis, if everything is still, then you know that the net torque is also zero. So there may be torques on the board, and in fact there are, but the net torque is zero. There are also forces on the board, and it, you know, very much forces all over this board, and the net force is also equal to zero. So this actually gives us, in principle, a lot of equations, but in practice usually about three equations. Three equations. We're talking about the net force in X is the net force in Y is the net torque, and that's all going to be equal to zero. There is no net force, there is no net force, there is no net torque. Let's do this problem right here. The problem is the active example on page 314. There's a plank that's four meters long. I want you to draw this too, which is why I'm taking the time to show you how I'm setting up this problem. There is a sawhorse here and a sawhorse here, and I'm going to say, well, the board has mass, and its mass is Oh boy, the cat walks in on the uniform plank and it's seven kilograms. The mass of the board, seven kilograms, and the mass of the board acts at the center of the board. Mg, right there. That's reasonable, I think. And also, there's a force, maybe I should start drawing my forces in a more fun color. There's a force upward here from this sawhorse, and there's a force downward from the cat. Okay, so we've got uh, little baby M, let's uh, call it MC times baby G for that, and this one we can call the mass of the board times <coughs> the acceleration of gravity, mass of the board there, okay. And what we are asked is if one sawhorse is Let's see, they're giving us these distances. They're saying, uh, let's see, I could go blue with this. They're saying this is 0 0.5 meters here. That's where the first sawhorse is located. And the second sawhorse is located 1.5 meters from that end. Now, this may remind you a lot of center of mass because it's got a lot in common with that kind of idea. But notice there are three forces acting on the system, and in order to do static problem, you have to choose an axis of rotation. Maybe we should use the net force in Y first. We're going to set up standard X and Y like this. And <clears throat> the net force in Y gives us our first equation. And that is that this force from the sawhorse, I'm going to call it F2, the force from the sawhorse minus the mass of the board times baby G minus the mass of the cat times baby G is equal to zero. This is the statement that the net force in the Y direction equals zero. Okay, there's our first equation. Our next equation is a torque equation, and there are many, many ways to do it. So let's first find, ooh, what are we trying to find? What do you guys want? What do you want? Let's say it says find the, uh, ooh, find the mass of the cat if the board just begins to tip. And that's why we're saying there's no force over here. If the board is just beginning to tip, then there will be no force on it right there. No force, no normal force between the board and that sawhorse. So um, yeah, let me let me dress this up a little bit. We're gonna have a sawhorse shown in red and black, 
So there's another shot, sawhorse shown in red and black. Um, okay. So we want to find the mass of the cat right at the edge. So we're actually going to, this is the cool thing, we need to choose an axis of rotation. And we choose the axis of rotation very carefully because it determines what we can find. If we choose the axis of rotation at a point, there will be no torque from forces at that point. Let's review this for a moment. If we choose an axis of rotation right here, then we'll have three forces that cause torques, right? This one tends to rotate it clockwise, that's a negative torque. This one tends to rotate it counterclockwise, that's a positive torque. This one tends to rotate it clockwise, that's a negative torque. <clears throat> if we put the axis of rotation here, then the mass of the board will not cause any torque on the board. I guess that makes sense. If you pivot just a board from the middle, then it won't rotate because there's no torque from the board. But if I pivot the board from right here, then the board will rotate. If it's the only thing in the system, it'll just go like that. If I choose my axis of rotation to be right here, then the force from this sawhorse will not cause a torque on the board around this pivot point, around this axis of rotation. But this, the force of the board, will cause a rotation, and the force of the cat will cause a rotation. Interesting. And uh, let's see, if I choose the axis of rotation to be the cat itself, that we're calling that the end of the board here, 1.5 meters from this sawhorse, then we'll have a torque from that force, and we'll have a torque from that force. Now, there's one, there are two things we don't know here. We don't know the mass of the cat, so we don't know this force, and we don't know the force of this sawhorse. But we want to set it up so that we can find the one thing we're asked to find, and that is mass the cat. So let's mass that cat. How are we gonna get the mass of that cat? We want to set up the axis of rotation so that the mass of the cat causes a force, which causes a torque on the system, and we don't want to have to deal with this F2, this pesky force that we don't know. So we put the axis of rotation right there. In that case, we're gonna have a torque from the cat and a torque from the board and nothing else. It's actually going to be a really lovely equation. So axis at, and you can choose multiple axes of rotation because the cool thing about statics is the net torque is zero around every axis. I'm gonna say about all axes. This is a very, very powerful statement because you can set up as many equations as you want. Of course, they'll all be related to each other in subtle ways, but you know, they're, in principle, infinite equations that you can get because you can choose any axis of rotation. So we choose our axis right here. What's a good color for the axis? Right here. We choose our axis of rotation right there. And the axis is at F2. So our statement that the net torque is equal to zero says, well, let's see, here's a torque. We've got, that's a, uh, ooh, that's a clockwise torque, so that's gonna be negative. We've got negative mass of the cat times baby G, that's the force, and then we need to know that it acts 1.5 meters away. 1.5 meters. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to add this, which is causing a counterclockwise rotation, this torque right here. The mass of the board times baby G, and how far away is that? We've got a four meter long board. This is choked up 1.5 meters, so this is two meters. It looks like that's acting at 0 0.5 meters away. This is all the torques that we experience, and that's equal to zero. So we can solve this for the mass of the cat. Check it out right there. You ready? Let's do it. I'm going to add this term to both sides, divide by baby G and divide by 1.5. Mass of the cat is mass of the board times baby G times 0 0.5 meters divided by baby G and 1.5 meters. So the meters cancel out, that's fun. And baby G cancels out. So our units are mass, that's good, kilograms is our unit, and you can plug that in and find out the mass of the cat. <laughs>